Welcome to 9-11 Experiments. Experiments you can do at home or in your fireplace to prove or disprove the official conspiracy theory of the 9-11 Commission, which says that fire can melt steel. So we have a steel cooking grate to put in the fireplace on top of the log to burn, and we'll put concrete weight brick weight on top of the steel grate, and then set it on fire. Okay, so the paper's starting to burn, and the steel has a melting point of 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,370 degrees Celsius. Iron melts at 2,150 degrees Fahrenheit. 1,175 centigrade. A typical fireplace can get between 1,200 and 1,500 degrees. The steel grate should be melting any minute now. The concrete will fall down on top of the log. Flames are really going now. That, see that steel grate, I bet it's starting to weaken a little bit. It said that the fire at the World Trade Center was fueled by office furniture and papers. So we'll see that this will make the steel bend and buckle and the brick weight on top will collapse. Just like on September 11th. It's been, been about five minutes now. You should see it collapse any moment. It's getting very hot. Okay, we should see that steel grate collapsing any minute now. It must be getting weaker and about to collapse. Well, you always wonder me why they make these grates uh, made in China. These steel grates out of steel, which is so likely to bend and buckle. Your dinner could fall right into the fire. Some more, some more paper. Typical of what was found in the World Trade Center. All sorts of office papers. See that steel grate collapse. Notice how that steel grate, it's getting hotter and hotter. It's going to bend under the pressure. And soon the bricks above, signifying the top floors of the World Trade Center, will fall right down at free fall speed. It always puzzled me why they make these grates so thin. Uh, since steel, as we saw, does not have much strength. In the World Trade Center, they couldn't even hold the floors above. And everything collapsed down. So, we should soon see steel melt and the bricks above fall through to the bottom. Well, it's been about a half an hour now. And the fire is still weakening the steel grate and should be collapsing soon. Still going. Look at those flames heating up the steel grate. Flames are still heating up the steel and will soon be collapsing like we saw at the World Trade Center. Well, Still burning. One of the things that puzzled me is why they make these grates out of steel, which is so prone to bend and buckle and even to explode. I better get away. The flames are still heating up the steel and we should see it collapse any minute now. Any minute now. 
Any minute, it's going to collapse. It's going to come falling down. Okay, the flame is still melting the steel. It's falling down. Pretty soon, the steel grate is no match for that flame. Well, it's been about an hour now. It's still it's starting to get weak and collapse from the flames. Hurry up! Well, I know the flame will get more intense if I close these windows. It gets more air underneath. And the flame is heating that steel and melting it causing the weight to fall down. It's been a long time now. And, well, the steel has not melted or bent significantly. So I guess steel is pretty strong. It could have held the weight above, even under flame. So let's try another experiment. 